hello everyone it's me asmr if welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the fantasy heel girl manipulation so how to do that uh, what i have done here let's see so the background was like that and the girl was like that i just merged that out and given the effects and other stuffs and i got this result so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first our this photo the model so how to cut it out from the background so you can use different types of selection tool for here i'm using the quick selection tool press ctrl j and then just zoom the photo in and make the brush size bigger by pressing third bracket closing and select this portion which one you want to cut out from the background and when you are selecting this one you have to be careful yes this portion and this portion as well so this portion and this portion not black portion so i'll press the alter button and deselect the black portion so i don't want to add this portion so you have to or you can crop it out it will be more easier to do that so after that select uh, this portion carefully so okay after that i'll refine the edges and i'll cut it down uh, from the background and i'll use it in my main photo so go to the select option and go to the select and mask option when you are selecting this button that means select and mask press the shift button hold it you will get new settings which is the refine edge portion and it will help you out to cut the background more precisely or the edges will be more refining so press the third bracket opening or closing by using the brush size making the uh, smaller or like that so yeah that's good this portion so all the thing is good yeah that's fine now go to the new layer with the layer mask select this one and hit the ok button yeah it will take time to load it up and give you the output so the girl yeah the background just gone so now i'll use this one from for here the portion so drag this photo and just drop in this portion so press ctrl t and make it smaller like that press right press and make it horizontal and just place over here and you can make it smaller or bigger it's up to you so that's fine so now i'll use the other stuffs like uh, fog and other things so i'll cross this one and right press and apply layer mask so here the photo that's good and press ctrl d for the deselect and now i'll use all the things like uh, the fox and other stuffs so how to do that before that you have to replace the sky how to do that just unlock this one go to the solid color and take the ash color and drag it in uh, downside and select this layer and mask it and go to the gradient tool and mask it a little bit yeah that's fine that's good and then select these fill color options and go to the file and place embedded here is sky i'll replace this out so make it bigger right press and flip vertical and i'll use the upper portion so it will make more sense or make more fantasy look for this photo that's fine and then go to the file and place embedded options here is the birds and i'll replace the those bird here that's good and hit the tick button that's good if you need you can just adjust the things or adjust the skies if you need you can make it bigger or like that yeah that's fine after that go to the file and place embedded options and i'll import this here the moon press the tick button and make it in upper side and blending mode and make it screen mode and i'll erase the portion which is the like border so go to the erase tool here and right press and restylize this layer and 
make the brush size bigger and erase that portion before that you have to make the opacity 100% and flow 100% and then erase this portion so that's good and then press ctrl t you can make it slightly curve and hit ok here is another like moon so i'll just remove that so here is the spot healing brush tool and right press and restylize the layer and i'll remove that moon from here yeah now i'll add fog and other stuffs before that i will add the moody color so i'll make it a little bit smaller yeah that's fine and hit the tick button and then take a new blank layer and go to the brush tool and here is the cloud brush so it will be more like fantasy type look so you can control this one press ctrl t and make it bigger smaller which one is perfect for it and go to the adjustment layer and go to the color lookup and from here the foggy night that's fine and make the opposite down a little bit yeah that's good and you can use it here actually in this portion and make the fill color of the look this one like that press ctrl t and adjust this yeah that's good and go to the solid color and take a color which is for the like uh, color layer and the filter actually so change the color if you need it will make more sense and go to the adjustment layer and color look up again and from here yeah that's fine and make the opposite down it will make the girl more amazing or photo more amazing so that's fine so select all the layers make it group and make it merge after that go to the filter and camera filter from here i will increase the brightness contrast and other stuffs so i'll make the sharpen like that and the luminance of noise direction like that and de highlight this one and like the variance like that and add some contrast and hit ok so that's fine and now go to the filter and nick collection and color effects pro 4 color effects pro 4 is a plugins of the photoshop it will make the photo more special and more effect so you can do that so here it's loading up and if you want to get the download link of the color effects pro please check out my video description so from here here is lots of methods i'm using the cross processing and from here lots of methods if you want to use one of them you can use that so from here you i'll use here this one lt4 and hit the ok button so it will take time to load it up and give you the final output so it's taking time you can check out my video description for the downloading of the color effects pro 4 so go to the adjustment layer and go to the levels from here you can adjust the light and other stuffs it will make more amazing so you're getting the image or fantasy look of the girl so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to get the download link please check out my video description so until the next video i am asmr signing out today bye bye